Greetings and everyone. I <laughs> sort of fucked <laughs> that up. <laughs> Dear me. Good luck. Come down. <laughs> suck. Uh, no, should, I, should I try this again? No, probably yeah, just not. Try it again. No, try go it again. for it. Yeah, fuck this. Everyone, uh, welcome uh, uh. to Discovery Freelancer Podcast Chapter 2. Today we are going to discuss the Taos, the history of the Taos, the big people in the Taos, and Taos in general, why the fuck should you avoid the Taos? Pretty much. And just like yesterday, I have two people helping me with this, and so in this case, I'm going to get help from a vet who has pretty much lived in the Taos all his life, and a relatively new comer to the Taos thing, sort of. Who actually has done some shit. So, in the blue <laughs> corner, we have Burak, a.k.a. Soul Reaper. So. And in the other color corner, I forgot what I named the okay. first one. Gold. We Red. have Summer McLovin. Hey, everyone. And so, let's just start this off. Come on, Burak, tell us who the fuck you are and why the fuck should we care? Um, right, Soul Reaper, uh, joined Discovery in You're 08, already talking I think. in third person. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's okay, it's okay, I got this. Uh, I joined in 08, I've been fun. playing for five, probably boring six years. I feel uh, like no, 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 your post count says 2009, so Blackfoot <laughs> has been here for longer. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I've been in the towels. Well, I've lived in the towels for about three years. Um, well, for the uh, topic that is, basically, for me myself, first faction was the Southern Alliance, uh, which is the old LN and all that. Yeah. So basically, f starting from there, I've always been in PvP factions. Dick. Well, th th which that yeah, pretty much makes me a dick. Uh, well, and then uh, people, yeah, people then wonder why I'm such a douchebag. No kidding. Yeah, what about you, Summer Man? Well, I only joined a year ago, and I think it's like a year and a week now. Uh, and but people have confused me for someone's all and all that. Uh, I end up running into the BPA first off, and you know, being British, I was like, I want to be a Bretonian faction, Makes so sense. at least it seems good. And I stayed with them since. I'm now second in command with fairly lazy leader, so pretty much first. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so basically, right now you are the CR guy and the EMG guy, and Burak is pretty much the same. So right now, what we have we are is the Taos people. Yeah, well, you, the CR guy. Well, no kidding. You yeah. both are the Tau people, but basically, we are going to have this podcast today with a old vet and a new vet. Sort of. Yeah, a new vet. Uh, I'll that I'll put that in music. <laughs> so. Anyway, guys, could you tell, like, this is more of a question to Burai, but could you just tell us how Tau, how the Taos actually worked back then? You know, before the mining was actually doing anything, and before the CR? Well, <clears throat> before the uh, mining stuff happened, like the mining mod got updated and all that, it was basically just shooting, um... Like, the IMG and the CR, well, they used to be the BSG back then, against wow, the Outcasts. Back in then. Wow. Back when it was totally important. Nice. Did it was 23 like, have rocks back then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, they had rocks back then. Even it was Vanilla still annoying. Had some rocks. Yeah. There yeah. were also some live Bretonians at some point. So they actually anyway. went to freaking Tau 23. Yeah, that place was, um, it was just a pew fest, really, but, um, there's not really much to say about it before the mining mod, because people just shot each other, really, just, you know, one side shot the other side sometimes, and no one really gave a, um, gave a shit about it, like, no one cried about gangs or about how there was no roleplay or anything, because yeah, they're People were just having fun, basically. Just Pretty much, people were having fun shoot, but then, of course, people got bored of shooting the same shit over and over again. Who and then, were involved in the shooting, by the way? Like, uh, EMG from one side, and, like, Outcast, obviously. It's the, just, it's the IMG, not the EMG, just, you know, it sounds like you're saying this. Right. He always Sorry. says that. Dude, he says the EMG all the time. I have all it's rights to mispronounce any faction name. That's okay. Alright. Alright. 
Well, I came to the uh, Taos like three years ago. I was forced in to the CR by Panzer because we were both in the Keepers and then I got bored and shit and he just added me in. Back then, the main people that were fighting was the main bad guys in the Taos were obviously the outcasts. Obviously. They just pirated, shot, just killed everything. And then the IMG did some trading, and then the uh, outcast shot them, the CR protected the IMG. And then there was all these, uh, some zoner factions came in, and they actually, they actually shot people, like wow. zoners. Zoners shot people. Like, Crazy. Yeah. Who did they and shoot? Back, everyone. I, there was like everyone? this fucking... <laughs> Dude, Which zoners were they? Dude, zoners of town twenty uh, thirty seven is going like respect our authority, and they just invade Alpha <laughs> twenty. Oh shit! Really? Well, I don't know what the Asgard warriors did or something. Oh yeah. Dab. Yeah. That's a good drama topic. Fucking Asgard. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I mean, they they were sort of short lived. Oh yeah. They I, were I have no sense of scale because obviously I'm just a noob. So you guys can talk about that. The zoners, they were really shooting people, and the admins, like, the guys that make the rules and, you know, mm -hmm. supposedly uphold them, didn't give a shit. And no <laughs> one was, like, reporting them or any anything from each side. They were just shooting them, too. Yeah, but was it no. fun? Yeah, it was fucking fun. There was, like, well, huge... No shit. problem. Like, yeah, yeah, it was no but that's <laughs> like, I mean, People start reporting only when they get butthurt about something. Yeah. Well, yeah, there if was some fun reporting fighting them. And, in the end, the zoners, you know, stop because some of them started getting banned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, it was back start, then. I think it was back then when when we in the outcasts. Ba basically, the thing is, I was like from the very beginning, I was sort of an outcast player, but I never actually went to Tau Twenty Three a lot. I usually just fucked around with the keepers and uh, the general Omicrons. I think uh -huh. I went there only once, and I think Panzer killed me, and. Then, actually, you, uh, Soul Reaper, killed me, and then I said, nah, yeah, well, fuck that noise, I'm just not, not going to go there anymore. Well, yeah, back then, you didn't really, you weren't really the person you are now, I mean, <laughs> like, you just gave up, you just gave up whenever something happened. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> just look at the judges, oh, you fucking reported me, dude, I gave the fucking Nova the hell out of you. Oh, pretty much. <laughs> The uh, judges. I'm Let's just leave that topic. Uh, there are, well, there are since, enough threads. Since we're on the topic, just what are the highlighted drama that you both remember from the Taos? Uh, <laughs> my drama. drama. Hmm. Where do the I whole... begin? <laughs> <laughs> the whole Taos was just drama. I mean, it didn't look that way. Like there was lots of fun back then, but after the mining mod. That's when shit got really serious because, you know, with the mining money. mod, people started making real money. Like, yeah. real credits started pouring in, and then the outcasts just, you know, screwed over that money. Because yeah. back when then. When people they, start making money, they start losing yeah. it and get angry. Shit just went down, and then everyone started reporting, blaming, and all that stuff. I mean, there were like factions that just went through the towels, but they were blamed for shit. Wow. Well, hmm. could you give us an example? An example, um, crap, what was her name? I, I, don't, I don't even remember. But one of them was a zoner faction, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> okay. And then, I don't remember the specifics, but apparently some IMG convoy got destroyed by outcasts, and the leader, the leading person of that convoy, I forgot, who uh, might have been Seth, or I'm not, probably not Seth, she just bitched about how that other faction, probably a zoner faction, wanted to was mine and due to that he told the outcasts where the IMG were all the time like every single day wow and it's then the out we whatever do every day now are. it's it's it sort of has become a staple <laughs> yeah it's kind it was a kind of a stupid argument because there's only like two places where you can mine anyway yeah, yeah. he always finds some way I to believe someone hey, else actually guys when was the last time when you actually went to tower 37 tomorrow Hey, so, uh, we mined mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. A few CRs and a couple of IMG miners. How many people even know that there is a field like like left to the? I was surprised. Oh, don't don't say that. it. Yes, I'm gonna don't. say it. <laughs> don't say it. Secret knowledge for all. Secret knowledge, yeah. <laughs> Not even the outcast know to find us. But uh, yeah, no, that's true. Uh, there's that's maybe true. They two don't know people about it. 
to people that mine there every like two months, so you get about sixty ore per shot or something. That's ridiculous drop rates. So if yeah. you bring enough force to defend yourself, then it's awesome. So basically, it's uh, a lot more dangerous in theory because yeah, it's like it's mining, but actually, mining. it's not <laughs> because no one knows. Well, now they know. Yes. If I'm not right going now, to be, I'm still head out there tomorrow. <laughs> if I'm not too lazy, I'm actually going to add the Town 37 map and make a fucking big circle around it and just slap it into the video. <laughs> That's going to be the background yeah. for this video, isn't oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the map. Here are IMG. Yeah. IMG, sorry. There you go. Did I say it right? You, you said, said it right the second time. And then you said it right, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, over the next few years, we've seen uh, people get more, a lot more serious about roleplay and roleplay consequence, especially between factions. Oh, um, yeah. Good thing for this. Could you tell, like, what is the differences in actual factional interaction, like faction diplomacy, between then and now? Like, do, oh, you, well. do, you, do you keep contacts with rival factions in Skype, for example? Do you organize something where can you just flip each other off every time you see each other. Well, I could start for this if you wanted. Sure. Uh, sure. When CR first started out, uh, at least when I joined, this was a couple of months after I came to Discovery, uh, I PM'd Dane about like, oh, this looks pretty cool. I like Battlestar Galactica. Can I get in? And then Timo threw me in the leader chat and I was like, whoa! I'm way out of my depth, but it worked out pretty well. But there was a lot of drama going on about uh, colonials docking on Java in front of GRN. And that's what we're saying about the faction interaction. People are always have, having to be more careful, especially with Gallia in the Taos, because they're, like, in RP, they're this massive power that can just be like, yeah. IMG, you support our enemies. Yeah, so they're, they're basically a massive power which is non-existent in an actual game. Exactly. Pretty much. Um, but the yeah. devs a can just question, destroy like, Java. Like a quick question before we continue this. Uh, yeah. Could you quickly tell uh, the viewers or listeners, depending what they are doing right now when they're playing this video, how okay. what exactly is going on between the GRN, like in roleplay, between the GRN and the factions of Tau? What exactly is going on? Oh, I spoke last. Do you want to have a go, Reaper? Well, uh, CR that's... Reaper. That should be your topic because yeah. right uh, now true, I yeah, mostly yeah. look in Liberty. No, I Hellfire okay. and uh, LSF pretty much. So, yeah, you can take that. All right. Well, uh, we'll start off with the what could be a fairly easy one: the Colonials. Uh, I think Reaper was around for when they first interacted, so I say. Uh, <laughs> King was pretty much get on your knees, suck my royal cock, and then ninety-one percent the Colonial people voted no. So, uh, oh, you mean that time? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that that I can ago. talk about. That was yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, obviously, the GRN was made to you know just kill everything and be the dominant force in the uh, sector. Yeah. And so, and obviously, human nature, we obviously want to you know go against that kind of shit. Yeah, it's like fuck you guys, you're new. We shall not be slaves. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna it, make up some story about a uh, civil war. Yeah. In which the losing <laughs> side and crater use slaves and crap, so we hate that. That's why we hate yeah, the outcasts, etc. Pretty much. The thing we're, we'll probably be talking most about summer is the CR because yeah. he runs the CR. I used to run most of the CR, and well, yeah, I have the most experience. You know, like in I just CR, both not of you back. talk. Like, what the fuck is going <laughs> yeah. on between? Like, what is the whole thing situation? Yeah. Because what All it. Right used yeah. to be was that normally now no one gives it gave a shit about galley they were like yeah yeah sure bro whatever you're gonna do and then so panzer had you know to make it look real panzer went on our forums we had uh, our own forums he made a vote about if we wanted to you know uh yeah, bend yeah, down or knee <laughs> suck dick or not pretty exactly. much and then obviously everyone was like no that's fucking stupid because we're the cr and we, we said no. no one. <laughs> we said no. We posted that to them, and then the king got mad <laughs> and just, you know, <laughs> declared yeah. war. And then they they declared war, but they weren't around for like five months. Not not five. So basically, like, that is the the moment where you get a new faction, like a new sector, new faction, who basically in role play makes sense that they would smite everything, but in reality. On they the server, don't. there's so little people on their side 
they, they basically get steamrolled. Yeah, their first large, um, you know, thing that they're supposed to do, you know, invasion, was in Orkney. They came with like I don't know four, four, four no, three, four Valors. Lots uh, I of think snipers. I heard about this recently. Yeah. Well, I'm not talking about recent, like like the first time. No, I mean the GRN. I read, read in, from in the before the high spam. Right. Right. GRN, GRP. It was their first invasion, and it was so bad for them because everyone, no one, you know, actually killed the GRN because they weren't around. Yeah. But then when they were, like the order, the it's ICMG, yeah. the CR, like even like I said, the order was around, and even there were some zoners and shit. <laughs> and you know, pirates, outcasts, they just came in. You came to the wrong neighborhood, you motherfucker. Came to the <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think I, had to, I read this thread uh, oh, yeah, just when it was announced that GRN were allowed to slip past Sham uh, Langdok yep. and uh, invade Orkney, and then it was just it was a couple of pages off. Oh, this might be quite interesting. Then it was dab QQing because they got ganked right on day one. Oh, the ganking does not explain what happened there. Yeah, it was so I, I bad. Some posts, I think. People saw them in system, and then I just screamed in the CR emergency chat, the IMG chat, and the <laughs> Outcast oh, chat. Is over. <laughs> and then suddenly, people log like dreadnoughts. <laughs> Zephyrs, bombers, repair ship. Half the server. <laughs> half the server was the, like the. There were like 20, 30 people. We mm -hmm. jumped into Orkney. We saw them. We start. The, the first thing that they uh, sent were the snubs and like an out. Uh, a cruiser, I think. Something like gunboats. And back mm -hmm. then there wasn't any turret steering, so it yeah. wasn't like, you know, overpowered and shit. Yeah. And then there was a fight, right? So then the caps came. Like, there was normal fighting. And then suddenly the caps came in, like, uh, the CR brought three Zephyrs, that was the Rubicon, the Nemesis, and something else. Right. Uh, and then there was one Redemption, which was, uh, whose was it? What was that guy's name? The guy that ran the Brigands for a while? Uh, Brett. That's Brett, yeah, Brett. Brett, yeah, Brett, Brett, yeah. Brett came with the Retribution, and then... There was, was a his Cyrus? Uh, Grand Guillotine or just a yeah, council Grand, one? Grand the Grand Guillotine. Guillotine. Okay. Grand Guillotine. And <laughs> then <laughs> an Osiris came by, you know, just to be on our side. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? The, no one expects the order, Inquisition. <laughs> and then the, there was like a Reshef too and shit. And then we got into the fight. They came with three Valors, right? They just cruised in. And the first one that we killed was Dab's Valor because somehow I, I don't remember how but I just found just out that that was Dab. Dab's well, no I found out that that was Dab's cruiser um Valor and then I was like kill that right now right she had, now yep. kill it she had right a cap now. 5 cap 5 armor I believe wow it's re um a hull and shield went down so fast he could not regen once wow <laughs> That yeah, was that's the pride again. of the Gallic Royal Navy. It what, died. Was this, uh, Sean Desin, was it? Or just a generic one? What was his last words? I, there weren't any time for words. Some, <laughs> someone said <laughs> engaging, and then it, it, they just it. died. Mm. It, it was pretty bad. Um, I would say that was a tactical failure, though, because they oh, didn't yeah. like, kite. <laughs> Or anything, they just came in barging with Valors because I think they thought that the Valor was made to be OP, which it was. But sort of. it's it's turret sort placement's of. not great for close yeah. up. I think. Yeah, close up. I mean, frontal fire is good, but after yeah. that, it's just fucking dead. Like if you try and fire upwards, then it just all spreads itself yeah. out too much. It's just frontal fire, and then they tried to do that because they mm. didn't have any experience with the Valor. I'm guessing, well, and then we. Was just, it's it was a good like uh, lesson for the future. Sorry. Oh they, yeah, they died. <coughs> that. And then the the even worse thing was that their snubs were actually doing a good job because their snubs actually had like really good players, like go really good vets. At yeah, that still still lasts to this day in some cases anyway. Yeah, like the GRP the and Argent's yeah. going around. They they do, they still do have good players, but not that many. But yeah, yeah. back then they were like full pros, like not full, mm -hmm. but. I, 80%, 70%. Not pros, but, you know, good people, you know, above average. And then our redemption, uh, Brad, was get, about to get destroyed, and then they had no caps left, so I was like, I need to do something 
to be a complete douchebag. <laughs> I, I was on the Rubicon normally, and I, like, I was like, fuck, there was like lots of lag, obviously, because, obviously. because lots of people. Because, but because it, disco? Because disco. But for some reason afterwards, the lag just ended. It was just FPS lag, nothing more. Yeah. Okay. So I went back to 23, I logged off the Rubicon and got the screwdriver, which is a repair ship. <laughs> and then, dude, it's like, gotta be a dishbag. Oh, because I wanted the Jaren to die right there, and then I went and repaired everyone, got out, got the Rubicon, and then came back in and started killing shit. Uh, guys, that okay, sort of getting too deep in that. Yeah. But uh, what about the unlawful factions? What is your current stance with yeah. all the unlawful factions? Well, we'll just pretty much colonials got stomped in Tau Forty Four. Uh, GRN came storming in by lore, killed day. killed all yeah, killed all the civilians before they could leave. There's only a few million uh, colonials left because uh, each of our stations so hold a few hundred, so there's only a few million left. Yeah, makes sense. Well, we've we've got we've got like big piles of people on Picos to keep each other warm. So that's it. Most but, uh, of the Population was on that planet. Uh, what was it? Silo um, Borneo. I forgot the name. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, rather than the radioactive one, <laughs> Mendeleodora or something. Yeah, radioactive. Wow. <laughs> Everyone loves radiation. So, yeah. what's what's the thing about you guys and uh, Coronado? Right, uh, Coronado was initially found by the IMG. Uh, so they found Picos that has a load of deuterium on it. So they've set up a little mining operation. Liberty eventually f came as well, but they didn't know where the jump hole was, so they were really slow. They yeah, had to fly no through space. Yeah, because no one said the fucking planet. <laughs> oh no, it's on scanner range, but I can't see it. Yeah, so they had the Armstrong uh, outside Yuma, which is the really tropical but deadly planet. Uh, but then that got blown up by pirates, and I think it's implied that the IMG paid the pirates to blow them up. I'm not sure. Uh, and then... It's like Liberty were like, okay, we need to send in some capital ships. But then all the Colonials poured in, so it was pretty much Colonials and IMG own outside the cloud. Inside the barrier is all the pirates and freelancers and stuff. Yep. That's pretty much what Coronado is just now. So, moving back to the... Well, sorry. Uh, moving back to the Tau 23 and the Tau's in general, uh, yeah. what is currently going on with your player bases, by the way? Like, I don't think they have any player bases. What do you mean? Uh, the Does player bases the in the area. There's an IMG one in Tower 39, which is hidden. Which ish. is the guard system? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the one next Wait. to the field. Yes, that one. Oh. Uh, there's a there's station a there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Barak. Well, welcome to Discovery of Today. Yep. Dude, I uh, don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's also an IDF station on top of. Indochine at the Tau 31 gate. There used to be the EFL station that caused so much cuckoo threads, and then they let it decay, so CR blew it up. Along the one with on Brett. top of Java? Uh, no, the one on top of Holman. Summer, by the way. Oh, um, you mean that one? Oh, that okay. one. Is, is that base of yours like uh, free to dock, and people just go there and sell their ore, buy their ore? Uh, no, it's docking list only. But it's like, as long if you know about it and you're IMG, then just like send us a message, and we'll add you to the list. Now, I I, I, I just have a Junker Pirate Liner, and I I basically mm. I buy stuff from you guys and just smuggle it through Alpha. <laughs> okay, <laughs> seems good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so sometimes so your guys weren't around, so I was like, just sitting there going like, hmm. Yeah, well that's that's what uh, player bases are good for, is to store ore for people who I are like in only, a different time zone or something. That's pretty much the yeah. only thing they're good for. Yeah. No, you can actually put them on a jump hole, put weapon platforms on it, and then just that's laugh as people it. try to get in. Gee, hmm, King's Everyone Cross. That. Yeah, <laughs> coin King's or Cross. Yeah, Dude, well, King's yeah. Cross, King's not Cross. Quite I, so made, I made a, a Corsair character jump <laughs> from Manchester. No, that wasn't Manchester, that was. What jump gate it was on? The plan. Guys. Oh, wait, no, oh, Cambridge. No, no, no. That's no, Cambridge. Cambridge, yeah. Cambridge. From yeah. Cambridge to New London, and then I died. And then I just <laughs> simply deleted the gunboat. Like, I didn't liquidize, I just deleted it. That's kind of silly. That's what happened to me at first. I think that's too. what we call a tantrum, Spaddy. Yes. 
No, oh, it's pretty bad. Just think about Yurik it. Spazzy is throwing a tantrum to his gunboat. <laughs> no, yep. It's really bad though, just think about it. You jump somewhere and then you just die. No kidding. The first time I saw it, I was in my sales character. Oh. And <laughs> I just jumped, right? I, I was following a uh, transport, I was going to pirate him, and then I just jumped, and then I, I'm like, what the hell is shooting me? Then I died, and then I realized it was a player, player station. Mm hmm. It's yeah, I've actually I, never been shot at it before. So I I found a uh, like it was only midway th through the base's life that they actually positioned the platforms to shoot at the gate when anything came through. So yeah, it was just random. It's quite funny to lead people through. And they're like, huh. Actually, speaking of bombs, for example, right now we have that QQ about uh, well, my QQ anyway. That mm. the outcast corsair interaction is pretty much stopped because the corsairs like pop themselves inside of gamma. So what would you say? What would happen if you build a pop uh, right above tower pop. 27? <laughs> uh, Sounds so strange. Hole. Yeah, I know, right. On Not top of what jump hole, sir? Uh, 37 jump hole. Just bar yourselves off from that. Outcasts. Would be silly. Yeah. If the Outcast did that, then, like, no one would come to the system. Wow. I mean, I don't know how much... We don't raid Alpha too much. Uh, it's mostly the fightings in Tau 37 and Tau 23. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's not as much of a problem because there's not that many IMG and CR caps compared to Hessian ones. That was the main problem. So, but, actually, that's, that's a good yeah. question. For example, the PvP... Uh, in Taos, then mm. and now, like <laughs> what? The PvP in the Taos, dude. That um, it was basically everything. Yeah, well, like, I mean, uh, you know, people use snipers I mean, more, yeah. bombers more. Yeah, yeah, boats. that's what I'm going to talk about. It was everything, yeah. basically. Back then, like I'll talk about back then first, like a few years ago, yeah, when like the side. CR was at their you know golden age of Control. activity. Yes. And then trolling. And <laughs> Every time, like always, this this never changes. This has never changed in the Taos. The most used ship in the Taos is the Outcast Dreadnought. Yeah, but I miss. That is, like <laughs> I still had a little bit of cap spam days when I first joined the IMG. Oh yeah. Or when we first started getting good at start winning at PvP because there was enough bombers and stuff. Okay, that so was fun. Yeah, so, I that. so the most used uh, uh, ship on your side is the Pytho bomber. Uh, actually, there's not too many pythos to actually, honest, because the pythos then, not that great. Back yeah. then, the most used ship was the Nyx on the yeah. CR side. Well, dude, Basically, the Nyx, is, Nyx is still the main ship on our oh, side. Oh yeah, because it's better. Like I don't really like the pytho. Some do, but I just find it pretty slow. Not uh, here's how shit like the combat was. They brought five, six dreadnoughts, yeah. and on one occasion they had like three dreadnoughts. We had ten Nyxes. Mm. We just spam Nyxes at them. Yeah. We shot down I, I've their done ships. the same at, uh, yeah, in yeah. Type 31. Just like eight fighters on a cruiser, and then you eventually wear it down. So, what about the whole fair play aspect? In there's no there's, such thing. Yeah, there's no such thing. So, well, basically, if you go there to can Taos. There can be, but it's, it's not always a priority, unfortunately. So would, you, so, would you say that if you go to Taos 23, just accept that there you can get ganked and you can gank, and no one should well, whine yeah. about it? If you look at the. Uh, Contari Lance recruitment is just an out of RP questionnaire thing. Like the third question is exactly what he said. Do you care about ganks? You will be ganked. You might sometimes be ganking. Don't give it. Don't like care about it. So it's fine. Yeah, the towels have always been like that. It's never been. Shit. It's just gank, gank, and no one gave a shit about it. Like exactly. No one really gave a shit about it because they were happy with it. No one cared. I mean, well, there, there are always people who do care. But they'll well, just yeah. QQ in their Skype chats. Yeah, but and no then, one cares about. But them. they'll come back the next time. I don't think yeah. many people have actually rage quit from losing. Pretty much, because yeah, I think, every yeah. time there's always a losing or winning side, and sometimes it's different. Exactly. But it, you know, it depends on the numbers or if you're actually you um like this the outcast. I mean, I've all they're like the 101st, the old 101st. They were right. awesome. I loved the old 101st. Why I never joined them, I have no idea. But I just never did. Mm. Uh, and you know, like they had good guys. They had good fleet combat tactics and all that. And they were like rivals to the CR. Yeah. And then there was the outcast general players who just get a dreadnought, <laughs> jump into Tower Twenty Three, shoot the thing red, die, blinking on, uh, die, do it again. 
Yeah. Well, and they least... had fun doing that. They really had fun do just spamming caps. Like, I would see 10 red knots without a problem. Mm -hmm. yep. Of course, then, I'll uh, just think, log on. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not gonna work. Well, uh, so, f here's an interesting question. For example, uh, if we go quickly go back to the faction diplomacy thing, uh, yeah. what other we only factions... Got one way. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. It's pretty much like yesterday. Right. Uh, so, like other IDs, for example, you have, you, again, you have zoner IDs. How are they treated, for example? You have zoners, junkers, fucking Yar, right. General Yar, fucking Hakoja. <laughs> there, really, there really aren't that many zoners around that I've noticed, to be honest. Uh, Not right I now. think like Ed, Ed, oh, uh, right, like the one. The yeah, I noticed that. It's weird. Uh, Ed has started his Commonwealth, which are pretty much going to take over Freeport 10 and hopefully be a bit more interaction. Eh? Oh, like, oh, Reaper, like you were saying they're like the proper zoners, aren't you? Yeah, I'd like to make a note there. Um, I've only heard about these guys like two days ago, and yeah, I was like, holy I've, shit, only been they're a zoners. Weeks, so, uh, I'm like, they're real zoners because they're actually being zoners. What is a zoner? A zoner is a guy that doesn't like to live in the houses and lives alone in the Omicrons or the, uh, you know, Border outside, systems outside. and that shit. Yeah, they they they're not supposed to be peaceful or anything. Yeah, exactly. A zoner isn't I mean, a peaceful guy. It's just a buy. That's who's... fucking stupid. Yeah. I I think it was the Taz that started that shit, which I just hated because that that that's not supposed to happen. If I'm a zoner and if I have like two I don't ships, know, the Taz and can be ship. fairly militant, especially with when it comes to Gallia. Oh, when it but like it's just because. Galleon that's because of invade. that's because of uh, that's their because rage. Of Duncan. That's because of Duncan and Dab. Dab yeah, that, no, was, no, not Duncan and Dab. I think it was Doc Holiday <coughs> and Duncan. Yeah, no, I mean no. people that pissed them off. Doc it was Dab. Dab's doing. No, well, Dab pissed off a lot of people. Actually, I remember uh, back in Jay Z. Uh, <laughs> quick note: I sort of accidentally jumped. Uh, Duncan on his <laughs> Prince of Gallia right in front of Freeport, like what's his face in Delta, right in front of Freeport Eleven. Doc, yeah, yeah. right in 11. front of Doc Holliday's zoner carrier. That mm. could have that, that would have ended, ended well. badly. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the whole Jay Z were put on trial, and Cam the man That's... raged about it. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, and then you had Reavers shooting there, didn't you? Yeah, once. And then we basically went to uh, Duncan was like, "Hey, dude, you want to do like some role play between zoners?" And we were basically the first zoners who helped Galax build a base in Galia. Yeah. I don't or know if there's. You were the fastest ones, I think. Well, like you, you got like uh, to core four in a week or something. You said. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> that was interesting. So. Mm -hmm. As we are nearing the end of our little thingy, we are uh, we are already at yeah. 34 <laughs> minutes, by the way. Yeah, I know that. Hey, nice. Yeah, well. time flies, right. doesn't it? Right, so, let's, let's quickly go through well, the diplomacy. The, the last topic, like, tips to survive the towers. Like, right after this, and, like, you know, you, you, you will have a lot of people who want to visit the towers, Niles. So, like, ha tell the guys... How exactly could you survive the towers? Who are the, uh, you know, people they need to know and respect? For example, you know, all that sort of thing. Uh, well, right now the people that um, you know control the towers mostly are either the IMG or the Kantari lands. As for the IMG, basically everything goes through Jack, I believe, Jack Anderson. Yeah. Um, and when in game, so, game yeah. characters like so, you know, people know who to shoot. <laughs> who uh, to target first? <laughs> well, they yeah, always target Anna McCarthy first. That's Anna McCarthy. Sorry, the one this, this freelancer in a saber. Yeah. Yeah, she has problems. Fuck her, seriously. No, I went there with my junker ID trained when I told you, and she was like trying uh, to shoot me. me. She yeah. was just trying to get a reason to shoot me for some reason. I don't know why. Well, it has to do with being infected. I think her character is infected. Maybe not. She's in the Kahara, and Anna McCarthy, the character, is really fucked up in the mind, as far as I've seen. No, no, just, just yeah. <laughs> well, still, like, influential no, uh, guys. When you shoot Inf the big targets first, always. Aim if you, you need a bomber and a fighter, or just to run away in your miner and dock and come out on a battleship, one of the Pretty team. much. 
Yeah. But like the people as There's, players. It doesn't matter too much about characters. There's not any massive, like, famous characters other than Chenzo who you should miss all these defilers off or something. <laughs> well, yeah, there there are people that matter, like Jack. I mean, if you want to do anything yeah. with the IMG in the towels, you just PM Jack, then it's done. Uh, yeah. For the bad oh, yes. guys, anything it, Julia it, Moreau, that would be the yeah. IMG character to talk to. And then there's uh, the Kantari Lance, which is the uh, upcoming new Star. Outcast super faction. Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, not even. Hey, not World even, first have reacted I, well in activity. Yeah, I, I'm not even being sarcastic here. Um, just seriously, good luck because I want to see some change. And to be fair, like the hundred well, yeah. first were sort of meh right now. To be honest, the hundred first died after Doc left because Doc was the only guy. Well, not the only guy. I mean, there was like Chenzo, Dude, Divine, was Doc, Giza, Mike, just <laughs> like all the people. Yeah, uh, yeah. But when they left, like they kind of left the hundred first alone, and then. It was just Doc, and then Doc left, and then after a while, one of just became inactive. <coughs> that Atari Lance is a mix of vets and new guys. For example, well, yeah, uh, like there are vets like you know Fran. I, I think Fran or Danny is in them, and then they the leader, are. which like oh they both are yeah fucking P portion. They, they're in this <laughs> they're not group of yeah. PVP whores. That was a very quick. We have our of PVP <laughs> No, I, I love them both. Alright, it's okay. But yeah, Erwin is the guy when you want to be, you know, like, do bad stuff in, in the towers because Erwin is the leader of the Kantari Lands. Yep, I should bring back and the then, squad. <laughs> and then other influential people, not many really, it's just the IMG and the uh, Kantari Lands because the uh, Outcast yeah. Indies. Which, <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know what? Yeah, all right. The CR is not as active as before, but they are influential in that aspect. And obviously, the most influential person in the CR is Summer here because he's leading. And yeah, Summer, all right, Summer, Jack Henderson, and yeah. Irwin. That's pretty much the three people that own the towels because, like, Just the outcast. Galley, it's pretty quiet. Yeah. And yeah, no one cares about Galley and the towels. I mean, the only thing Galley <laughs> does... It could be if they made a name for themselves and a presence, but just they now... They probably won't, like, though. Yeah. Yeah. But the That's thing is, the people, the influential people, have dropped. Like, there's only three. It used to be, like, there were some major players in the towels because there were lots of factions trying to do shit. Like, for example, in the Outcast, there was, like, you know, Chenzo, Doc... Mike, and then on the CR, basically the whole, almost the whole CR High Command knew yeah. fucking everyone. Yeah, I, kn I know the like, names from the past, so yeah. Well, yeah, myself, then there's Panzer, obviously, which everyone hated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, last minute of our recording, so guys, uh, Does it have both of, both of you... Does it only have to be 40 minutes? No. What? Only have to be 40 minutes. Oh. Because people still don't watch it fully anyway. Uh, <laughs> so basically, just just describe the towels in one sentence, like both of you. Uh, fuck this shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was that a sentence? Like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, fuck this. He was pretty much like, you know, like fuck, fuck the towels. Who cares anymore? I don't know. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> these works. are good sentences. That works as well, <laughs> sir. Yep. Uh, okay, this was yep. Burak, bring, Summer bring your Glove, and Shut Your Mouth, and Spazzy. Yep. yep. Podcast number two. You know, we should yeah. make some like special thing where, I don't know, I'm going to give a ship out right now because, you know, if someone actually uh, listened to the whole thing, they'd be getting a ship. That's true. We should like have a draw that, like three. passwords, like hints, like write down the password, like <laughs> Actually, this, this. What this. was the eighth word that Spazzy said? Ah, <laughs> uh, and before everyone just goes back down, just <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was he saying then? All right, you know what? The LNS childish dreams. I have a ship that is a, an LABC with a cap seven. LNS childish dreams. Its password. I'm gonna do it right now. Its okay. password is gonna be Spazzy McLovin. <laughs> All right. Totally stealing this right now. Okay, <laughs> no, you, okay, again, what was the ship's name? You're not gonna steal it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Although I really wanted. 
Uh, ah. No, just again for the guys listening. All right. LNS dash uh, childish dreams, childish dot dreams. It's yeah. an LAB cap seven, and the password is, is Spazzy McLovin. So here you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Again, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give a thumbs down. But I'm just going to disable the voting anyway. If you do that, uh, again, better. Uh, just discuss the thing in the YouTube comments because some of the things we discuss are, you know, you know, sort of not really for the discovery forums. Uh, don't forget to okay, don't forget to just give ge general um, feedback in the first thread I made and give your like suggestions and everything. Yep. Also, if you want to be a part of the next podcast, just PM me on the forums or poke me on Skype. This was Discovery Freelancer Podcast Season... Well, not Season 2, Season. Can you imagine Season 2? <laughs> <laughs> episode Depends, 2. maybe. Maybe and like two weeks. There was, was Spazzy, Soul Reaper, Summer McLovin. Right, nice to speak to you all. Cheers. Maybe we'll actually get on topic for a change the next time. Okay. <laughs>